Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Hope you're having a great, fantastic hump day. Middle of the work week, right? Is there a work week anymore? I guess not if we're talking about unemployment. Here's your unemployment update for Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. Find out why a leading economist thinks the best form of stimulus funds is to offer extended enhanced unemployment benefits. Totally agree with this. Which high-ranking senator is favoring unemployment benefits in the new bill and what it means to you? Don't miss out on that. And how 19 million Americans could be saved from poverty with more unemployment funds and what they did with the money. Find out after this. For the best news and information to master and dominate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to the channel. Also, you can get money here. When we hit 150,000 subscribers with your support, if you're brand new, please subscribe. All you have to do to get the $1,500 is subscribe, like, and comment, and be picked as a random comment. You get $1,500 cash. I know you might not think you're lucky, but just put it in there. You never know. And cheat code, go back a couple of videos so you make sure you're in the mix. Also. Don't miss out, you could get four stocks. I'm not kidding, four stocks down below. There's a link with Webull. You open up an account, you fund it for $100. You can get stocks worth over $3,000. It is absolutely amazing, check it out below. Finally, thank you so much to my Patreons that support the channel and get all the letters we send to them every single day. We, read, we put out articles that you can read about investing and personal finance. But first, a recent article from Bloomberg opinion columnist Carl Smith, Carl W. Smith, outlined why Congress must choose between stimulus checks and extended enhanced unemployment benefits. They must select the latter and pay unemployment claims. That's what he says. Now, what does he explain? Smith explains, quote, what should concern Congress are those Americans who through no fault of their own, are unable to work, aimed the pandemic, right? Amid the pandemic. He continues, quote, leaving these workers without critical support will only feel a backlash against the lockdown measures that are necessary to minimize the efforts of what is, hopefully, the last wave. Oh, God, I hope this is going to be the last wave, right? Smith also stated, the data suggests that the vast majority of those unemployed workers use their benefits to keep their current expenditures steady and add to their savings. That prudence has helped stabilize the economy, but that cushion of savings will soon run out, especially with Christmas, right? He closed by saying, sending out checks to, is popular and... For peer risk management standpoint, more than worth the expense, because we stabilize it even more. If, however, Congress has to cut back on something to get a deal done, then it should be the stimulus check, not the expanded unemployment benefits. Because if you got a job and you get either 600, what they're talking about today, or 1200, it doesn't stop the fact that there are people that are unemployed that need that money and are not getting paid. So if you're employed, it's a bonus. You're like, hey, great. But if you're not employed, yeah, you need, you need money be, to survive. While you know me, I'd love to see multiple rounds of stimulus check. I do believe Smith's point of view that extended enhanced unemployment benefits are slightly more important than $1,200 at this time, which is why I said that. I think people that are not working need the money to survive, and we should not leave them without because the pandemic has put them in the house, unable to work. Meanwhile, Utah Senator Rit, I mean Mitt Romney is pushing for more extended enhanced unemployment benefits. In another upcoming stimulus package, Romney explained, this is his words, I'm sure that everybody would like a check, but sending checks to, pe to people who are currently working is not, in our view, as high a priority as sending checks to people who are unemployed who can't make their rent and their businesses that are shut down. So it's very vital that we take care of these people. He continued, our goal and our expectation is that the $748 billion bill, so you know which one he's talking about, or something that includes many of the elements is passed before Christmas, we should vote on that this week. That means two days away. 
urging Congress, pushing and nudging them to pass the new bipartisan disaster relief bill. Romney stated, quote, you'll remember in the financial crisis in 2007, Congress passed $700 billion rescue package. This proposal included $748 billion, which is very, it's a very substantial number. I think the Problem Solvers Caucus, the stimulus package, is a great starting point. I love it. I like it. I respect it. And it will help millions of Americans across the, across the country with their necessary unemployment benefits in the first quarter, 2021. It goes from December all the way to April, which is great. It's a breather. And finally, the new proposal, the stimulus package, which contains extended extensions to the PUA and the PEUC, that means unemployed, independent contractors, 1099s, people who have side hustles, did not pay into the system, they can still get money. As you know, so if you worked as an independent contractor, like women in the cloud who watch the channel that are work for Microsoft, as well as it provides 14 weeks of the $300 unemployment benefits for people that paid into the system, and it would significantly improve the US economy by stabilizing it that much more. They need the boost. The regular base is just not enough. Senator Joe Minchin explained, quote, the bill takes care of those who are unemployed. Yes. In fact, this new bill will provide upward of 19 million Americans with vital disaster relief funds to make life a little easier heading into the new year, especially don't forget about it's Christmas time. This is the time to give. Even better news, this might just be the starting point on unemployment and stimulus negotiations. Senator Susan Collins recently stated, quote, undoubtedly, we may have to do more. Let's not go home for Christmas without passing this much needed relief for the American people. Yes, don't come home to Christmas. Don't go home to your family until you pass something. Trust me, I completely agree and I hope that the bill can be approved. So soon so that millions of struggling Americans can get some much needed fiscal relief before the holidays come on. If you still haven't applied, come on, get with it. Apply for those unemployment assistance, especially if you're legit in need of it. You may think you're disqualified and you're not. Do yourself a favor and apply today. Go to the PUA and the UI. Just answer the questions honestly. Up your, upload your employment history and tell them you've been out of work if it's true. With the virus in the CARES Act, you didn't have to prove that you were looking for work. If you're out of work due to the virus, even if it's freelance or side hustle, you still can get the benefits. Be honest, tell the truth, and you could receive your backdated unemployment check of 20 grand. Hopefully you don't find out that somebody already got your money, which is happening to a lot of people, billions of dollars worth, unfortunately. To all the gig workers, self-employed, independent contractors, 1099 workers, even people who have side hustle and volunteers, freelancers that are doing web design and photographers. Time is running out to collect your PUA benefits. Don't miss out on your chance to receive these amazing government benefits. They're not going to last and they expire December 26th, December 27th. But yeah, by December 31st, the CARES Act, they're going to have to launch a lot of funds back to the general fund if it isn't used. Please keep sharing your experience with the PUA and unemployment benefits in your state. Please be safe out there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care, and I love you. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe, like, comment down below. It won't hurt you. doesn't cost you anything, and you'll get to see these updates. Oh, hit the bell notification, too, so that you can get notified when we have more stuff. And if you want to go down to Patreon, we send out every day. We send out detailed reports about investing and stock market and just tons of stuff to help you save, invest, and, and help you all the way around with your business your money, and as much as we can to give. And we also love the ideas that people give us in the comments. And we love reading your comments. So please leave one. Take care. Love you.